Hello, chat. It is I, Chef Estand, joined here today by Bonnie Rabbit and world-renowned famous chef Henry Phillips. Henry, so nice of you to join us today. Hey, thanks so much for having me. Um, we're going to be making a very special dish today. It's Halloween season, as everybody knows. Join us, won't you, as we unearth the evil tomb of Halloween and exhume its sinister covenant with death straight from the bowels of hell with our Frankenstein cupcakes. I'm gonna be taking uh, the recipe from a combination of my own personal Frankenstein cupcakes mm -hmm. recipe, but that was mostly stolen by a recipe on Mom Foodie. But let's just give you a little bit of intro here. And this part I didn't write, but this is from Mom Foodie. Hi, Mom. These Frankenstein cupcakes are an easy Halloween dessert, or des dessert is that, oh. that kids will especially love. There's no kids here, but... And, and this, this is green because it's gonna be Frankenstein's skin. We've got our marshmallows, which are gonna be Frankenstein's head. We have small marshmallows. Maybe there'll be some uh, Frankenstein, yeah, feet, or they could be a real small head. That's gonna be hard to draw faces on, but we'll, we'll try to make the most out of it. Should we use permanent marker for the faces? Uh, yeah, we could do that, sure. Okay. Is it edible? I don't know, I haven't tried. Uh, we should check. The internet's great for that. Um, sanding uh, sugar. So we have sanding sugar, is that just sugar? Uh, I think they use this for, uh, yeah, like a, the sandblaster if you're trying to oh, smooth okay. out wood. All right, so we, we, we'll need a sandblaster, and then we've got our regular sugar, not sandblasting sugar. Coffee, this is very important because we're gonna make the cupcakes coffee flavored. By the way, I hope this doesn't disappoint anybody. Uh, the dish that we are gonna be making are still gonna be Frankenstein. They're not gonna look like your traditional cupcakes. We're gonna make it in a, a square thing. We weren't able to find the uh, kind of pan that has the holes in it that you do the, the for the cupcakes. Mm. We've got uh, some cocoa powder, mm -hmm. some sprinkles, that's gonna be his hair. These are actually harvested from Brazil. Oh, really? Yeah, these, these actually grew on, uh, on the sprinkle trees so in Brazil. So they imported them. These are wow. imported. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, well let's do it. Wow, it looks like we've got actually uh, more stuff than we need, so it's that's, gonna be very creative. Yeah, uh, definitely, that's the story of my life. Cooking lesson number one, we're gonna call each other chef, if that's okay. Chef. Yeah. How do we tell each other apart if all of our names are chef? Well, chef's our first name, but our last names are Chef Bonnie, Chef Esfand. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Chef Henry. Chef Henry, yeah. Okay, that works. Every uh, dish that you're making is gonna require uh, preheating the oven. The worst problem you can have is you're in the middle of a recipe and it says preheat your oven and now you're waiting 20 minutes for the thing to reap. You know, mm. so I would say just every dish you do when you get in the kitchen, preheat the oven, and that way you'll never have that problem. I personally leave my oven on all the time. Yeah, just that because. Way it's always preheated. Yeah, that way you'll never have a problem. That's smart. It actually. gets hot. I, we had a heat wave uh, over this summer, and that made it a little difficult. Uh, but you know, it's well. Better. The fire, the fires were rough. Yeah, yeah. And it could be a fire hazard too, so make sure you check with your local uh, fire department before you do stuff like this. And hopefully if you're at home, uh, you have your oven on. If you start to smell gas, um, that means That means it's... that S1 ate too much burritos last night. <laughs> that could be, but uh, generally speaking, yeah. If, if you, either way, if you smell gas, it's not a good thing. All right, How let's big? move over here to our, uh, this is called the work quarters. How big do we want the bowl? So um, we're gonna need, uh, why don't we do the two These middle ones? These are already ones. seasoned. Oh, cool. Yeah, we pre-season all of our bowls. Let's yeah. do the two middle ones, and I just wanna do a camera check here. We have a camera over here, is that right? Mm-hmm. So that one should oh, be Oh, look, up. we have a camera here, Henry. We also have the top down. Oh, and you've got that one, yeah, okay, good. I'm gonna teach you guys about wet ingredients versus dry ingredients. Okay. So, uh, when it's wet ingredients, you call that stirring. Mm -hmm. When it's dry ingredients, you call it sifting, and it's an entirely different process. Mm, okay. um, generally, what you'll do is you'll mix wet ingredients in a work bowl, then do the dry ingredients, and eventually combine them. Okay. And you might ask, well, why don't you just mix them all in the same bowl? And no one really knows. We're gonna need one cup 
of flour. So we don't really have measuring cups. That's okay, they're not accurate anyway. So if we can just guesstimate. Well, we can take two, can we use two of these? Uh, do you have Alexa? Uh, Alexa! Nope. I always ask Alexa how many, for any math things, but uh, you have uh, some technical people. Maybe, can, can we get a Google on uh, how many half cups is one cup? Oh, I've got Siri. What's one cup divided by two? Sorry, I didn't get that. Could you restate the question? What's one cup divided by two? Sorry, I didn't get that. Could yeah, you restate the question? What, a, what an ignorant it's, bitch. Yeah, it's too hard of a question for even Siri, I guess. But okay, so we're, we're out on our own with the math here. Yeah, oh, but that's okay. Are we, are we muted? Ben, are we muted? Uh, ban that guy who said muted. They're all saying no. You got one guy. But do you hear me? Help! I do help because it's got the P if you want to test the plosive oh, sound. Yeah. yeah. Help! Help. Okay. Please help. So if you're ever at a uh, concert and you see the musicians uh, doing a sound check ahead of time and they scream help, don't worry, they're not actually in trouble. They're just uh, testing the plosive sound on the mic. Okay, unless they, they might be in trouble too, I don't know. All right, so we're looking good. Everything's good so far. How are we doing on our overhead cam here? Do you guys see that? I'm gonna take a look at what we got. Let's see what's going on. So this is sifting. Yeah, that's sifting, and we're, we're gonna be doing nothing but sifting for a little while here. Okay. So, okay, we need half of a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Half of a half of a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, yep. The kitchen uh, is one of the most dangerous places in the house and also in the world, I would say, because uh, when you think about it, where, where else can you just walk in and have open flames, sharp objects, uh, fear of public humiliation, but uh, okay, good. So you're getting two blocks. Oh, what do you got? Pretty soft. So that, is that three? You got a three? Wait, hold on, Bonnie, how much did you put in there? Three or six? Six. Six tablespoons? I put six okay. So, so what do you got? What are you doing? Oh, I was just having fun. Oh, okay. You're just making blocks. Yeah, it looks like Legos. Nice. Okay, so now we got Okay, this. great. So let's so put, let's divide right those now. exactly in half. So one egg each. Okay, so we've got one egg each. Now we're going to need, okay, this is, uh, it's saying that it wants granulated sugar in these bowls. Okay. Yeah. But what did I tell you earlier? Like, Sanded sugar. Well. Right? Well, this is pure cream. Sifting happens in the dry bowl. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna assume this is a, a misprint because it says in a separate bowl, whisk together your butter, eggs, and sugar. But sugar is clearly a dry ingredient. So let's go ahead and put that sugar in our dry bowl. Okay. I'm not trying to say Mom Foodie is a sham organization, but I'm just saying that they might have uh, mistakenly thought that sugar was a what? wet ingredient, mm. but it's clearly a sifting mm. uh, substance. Okay. So, Chad, this is something that, uh, again, having uh, Master Chef Henry with us today is uh, is a great honor, uh, as he is probably one of the most esteemed chefs. Uh, on either side of the Mississippi. We should all be very appreciative of the fact that he took time out of his very busy schedule. Thank you, and it's very kind of you uh, to allow me into your home mm. and uh, let the right one in, as so to speak. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that was a relevant thing, but it is Halloween, so let's keep stirring. Yeah, you know what? This is, I don't know if you can see this on the overhead, but this is definitely not good. We didn't soften uh, that butter enough. Mmm, so I'm gonna have to put that. Yours looks pretty good, but this one's not. So we're gonna put this in the microwave. The first thing I wanna know though, is this a microwave safe dish? No, but I think if we don't do it for that long. Okay, let's do it. Well, is this going to cook the eggs? I'd have to think about that. Okay, so in thirds, so it's more math here, Add the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and mix until fully incorporated. Wow. Wait, so. That's so. a mouthful. So just take a third of that and put it in there and start mixing. Okay. I think it just doesn't want you to overpower it all at the same time. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same. Okay. And it doesn't have to be exactly a third. That's probably a third. Hello. Hello. Hi. Emma is joining us. 
Chef Emeru, Chef Emeru, meet Master Chef Henry Hi. Phillips. Very nice to meet you. Phillips, hello. I'm a big fan. Well, looks, we're making that looks, this. That looks, that looks great. Yeah, can we get an overhead shot of this? Um, we're making Frankenstein cupcakes, and we have we're dealing with a situation, a butter clumped up butter, butter situation. Crisis. Yeah. I brought over your, your cookbooks. Oh. Then, if you if you would sign them. Absolutely. Of Whoa. Course. As a matter of fact, we probably have some recipes in there that we could go through yes, too. Yes, I've read them um, all in length. Here, I can sign it. Yes. Wow, you've got both of them. This is great. Yes, I also brought you a, a gift. This is my little friend, but I want you to have him. Wow. Oh, look at that. Chef Kirby. I love that. That's, That's amazing. Cute. Thank you so much. <laughs> Chef Henry, I, I feel yes. like uh, this is... Yours is done? Almost. Yeah, I mean... It, yeah, keep keep going. Let's okay. See, probably got about two more minutes. Oh, okay. Maybe a half egg. Okay. Yeah, I left for like 30 seconds, and everything's kind of gone into a chaotic <laughs> place here. Um, I'm gonna show you a trick. It's called tossing. My grandmother taught it to me. Mm -hmm. and she, she said she learned it when she was in the joint, so to speak. Oh. Um, but we just toss back and forth and let the white fall into it. This is the bowl that you wanted to put it in, right? Right. Well, I, I also already just did that. Oh. I should have done, I should have done it in that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Right. Well, here, I'll just, I'll just put... But you see how now I have just the yolks. Right. But we should... Yeah, well, and I'll, and I'll put that there. Huh. Yeah. And so, by the way, you don't have to do that thing that I just did. Um, okay. Let me get... It almost seems like we didn't make enough batter like we should have not divided everything by two that that might be where I fucked up but you know well I mean a simple miscalculation is, is nothing to yeah I also want to apologize uh, I have had people ask me why I sometimes slip into foul language and I just want to say that uh, the kitchen is a very stressful place sir. Yeah, mm. and then uh, yeah this, <laughs> the kitchen is very stressful mm. and uh, F words are basically something that you say when you get stressed out. So that's what happened over there. So I apologize. Right. Uh, how do you ever swear? Uh, uh, most on TV. I, I swear most of the time. Okay. Well, I'm glad that we're all on the same page on that. Oh. Okay, guys. Uh, what we need now is our marshmallows. Can we? Okay. Uh oh, I'm worried about that. Can well, we... it's fine. This is only got a bunch of egg on it. Oh. Okay. okay. I'm gonna need um, TV remote. Cancel the timer. The remote doesn't so seem to be working let's anymore. Let's take the big marshmallows out. What what was the remote for? The television. Oh no. It's okay. Uh, they say you're supposed to put it in brown rice. Hmm. The marshmallows. I've heard that. Okay. Or that's maybe that's just with the phone. So we can put the marshmallows. In. I have rice peel off. Would that work? Uh, I would imagine. Now that's pretty fancy. I wouldn't waste it on a remote. But uh, it's a nice remote. Oh, okay. Maybe it's maybe try it. Okay. But but save the rice because you'll want that. Well, I could use the rice after. There you go. Yeah, and okay. uh, hopefully that's gonna work. Okay. Oh wow! Look at that. Yeah, this is our candy melt. So we're gonna need that a nice incredible. overhead shot. We have the overhead head shot. Um, yeah, we can. Uh, oh yes. Yeah. yeah, look at that. We're gonna have a assembly line. So again, Chef Henry, can you uh, tell the audience at home uh, yes. what what it is what we're cooking this? Uh, Oh yeah, the name if you're just joining us, we're making uh, Henry's famous Frankenstein cupcakes. Mm. Yeah, uh, a couple way. of caveats on that though, uh, they're not going to be actual cupcakes, they'll just be regular cakes cut into Except smaller sections. Two minutes. But then the other thing is that it's not necessarily Henry's famous, we're taking it from a website called Mom Foodie. We're going to take our marshmallow. Okay. And we're gonna spin it around in the green stuff, and that's gonna be Frankenstein's skin. Oh, okay. And once you have that now, you're gonna take, you're gonna dip the top of it into the sprinkles, and that's gonna be his hair. See how that is? This is, uh, I don't wanna sound hyperbolic, but it's probably the most fun I've ever had in my life. Oh, wow. I'm 53 me years too, old. Me too, actually. But, um. It's been okay for me. Yeah? Yeah, it's been okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're you're much younger, so maybe when you're 53, you might do something that's this fun. Yeah, maybe. If I make it. Yeah. Well, I think people are living longer now than they were back in the Middle Ages, anyway. Mm -hmm. 
Let's have S fan do the first base. Okay. Good. Okay, we need yet That's another. Uh, I need a place for all these to end up. Okay. Mouth is a little bit. I think that we should take them, put them on, and then put them back here. Okay, let's you do think that. So? Uh oh, we're gonna have a problem. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, they. <laughs> oh, they seem to. Have... <laughs> it's okay. I've had a lot worse things happen. On I want to show the camera. Let's see if we can get a nice close-up shot for the camera. Yeah, there you go. Look at our look at Henry's world famous Frankenstein cupcakes. Right here. Doesn't that look good? That looks amazing. Uh, I, I'd Sorry, like to take all the credit myself, but uh, you guys have done some pretty good work here. If you're doing this at home, that's, so um, that's beautiful. You should have in front of you your cupcake or slice of a bigger cake with a toothpick attached marshmallow Frankenstein with two bolts, a face, and sprinkles for hair. If you do not have these things in front of you, you fucked up somewhere, you need to go back in the video, find which step you might have missed. If you like it, you can take a picture of it and send it to S Fan, and he'll uh, maybe post it, and so we can see other people's Frankenstein. Uh, I, would, I would love to do that. If they would like to tweet tweet that at us or post in the Discord, we can see yeah. who, the, who the best uh, Frankenstein. Bonnie did a cool one with sunglasses. Wow! We have the close-up cam again. And here's one that I made that looks like it's got its face uh, completely. Reconfigured into a line. It's supposed to be the screen, but it looks like a Minecraft creeper. Oh, so good. oh yeah, that's right. All right. I think uh, I think we're about ready to give it the the taste test. Okay. I think we're ready for that. Let's do it. Okay. So now, obviously, you do not want to eat this toothpick. That's the only part of this that isn't edible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the marshmallow part out first and just literally eat the whole thing. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> That's too much. And let's try the cake. Mm. Fucking delif delicious, guys. Really? I mean, yeah, it's really good. Well, I will try the technique of, uh, I'm going to try both at once. Oh, wow. So I'm going to take it from the bottom here, and uh, I would like to then place it long ways into my mouth, mm -hmm. and then I will remove the toothpick. Wow. Mm. That's quite a technique there. Mm. I don't know how you did that, actually. Mm. I'm still chewing mine from way back, so keep a lot of it in the foreground of your mouth. Be ready to spit it out. <laughs> I'm really, really glad with, uh, I'm really happy with the results of, of our lesson today. Me too. Um, Personally, I learned a lot. I think we always learn a lot in the kitchen. Even the oldest chefs in the world, chefs that are in their late 80s to early 90s, still learn about the kitchen in their old age. Maybe they slip and fall on a banana peel or something. I don't know, but there, there's always, Lessons to be learned in the kitchen is what I'm saying. Oh, thank you. Boy, I'm almost wishing that we did make some coffee. Oh, you want coffee? I'm a big coffee fan. I don't really know how to make coffee. I think you just uh, mix it with water. Yeah, I, I think you just put um, a filter in here. Oh. And then you pour the water over it. <laughs> no, yeah, you don't do that. That's for sure. <laughs> That's not. If anybody wants to see uh, what happened there, she just took coffee and mixed it. Actually, I think you were doing instant coffee, but that's a different kind. Oh. Chat, thank you guys so much for joining Thanks us today. Chef Bonnie. Thanks, Chef Bonnie. Bonnie, Emeru. Make sure to follow Thanks, Emeru. Chef Emeru. Make sure to follow Bonnie Rabbit. Make sure to follow the stream if you haven't yet. Chef S. Van. Of course. Thank you so much. This has been amazing. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're so glad you got, got a chance to make the time to come oh, out yes. here. Don't forget him. Thank you. Yes. And next time, uh, we're gonna make, uh, we can either make my whiskey barrels or uh, chutney cheese weenie bites. Queenie bites. Oh, that sounds great, yeah. weenie bites. Uh, all right, well, I'll leave you guys to this pub, uh, this cupcake feast. Mm -hmm. And uh, slowly again. backing away, mm -hmm. slowly backing away. <laughs> <laughs>
Things are looking kind of bleak cause I'm alone again